I am going to whoa five five people. It's, it's just keep getting better. God is truly working in this place today. No wonder why. Uh, no wonder why they had me waiting. No wonder why they had me waiting. God was going to do something. So today's lesson is how to enjoy things. Well, guess what? I'm enjoying this right now. You know, I've never had so many people in class before. Leave a like on this video if you really, really, really enjoy it. Because today I am going to teach you how to enjoy life, how to enjoy what God is giving you, how to enjoy his blessings. Have you ever heard of the book, Daring to Draw Near? Dr. John Wright White writes that several years earlier, God had made it possible for him to acquire a lovely name, home with many luxuries. His feelings about the house fluctuated dramatically. He, when, he rem when he reminded himself that it was a great, but when he would begin to compare it with those of his friends, he would feel proud because he had such a fine house and he, his joy would evaporate. His home would actually become a burden. Hmm, how would that happen? And the endless odd jobs to do. White said, while vanity clouds my eyes and burdens my heart, gratitude clears my vision and lightens my load. So, how many of you in your life are grateful for what God has given you? How many of you in your life appreciate things in your life? God gives us things every day. Food, water, shelter. And I'm pretty sure if you get sick, fall down, break a bone, you can call an ambulance whether it's 911, 999, 311, whichever number it is, and you could go to the hospital in a matter of minutes. I'm pretty sure you have a system set up like that. God did it. God did it. Yes. Star said, praise be and God with us. Praise be and God with us because he grew the trees out of the ground. We could have been dead from a long time ago, but instead we are alive today. We're alive today. We are all alive today because God kept us through the night. Did you know that when we go to sleep, that our heart rate slow down, our breathing rate slow down, our brains slow down. And a slowdown like that can be deadly slow. Some people have sleep apnea, so therefore they skip breaths when they go to sleep. Their heart skip beats. But guess what? God keeps them through the night. Some people, they go to sleep not knowing whether they're going to wake up in the morning. Nighttime is the most dangerous part of the day because it's dark. You cannot see. So therefore, people will take advantage of the, see, of the situation and will break into the house and try to steal what you have. But we, as a Christian race, need to be thankful that that did not happen to us at night. We need to be thankful at night because God did it. God rose our heart rate back up in the morning and joy cometh in the morning. I don't care if the clouds are covering the sky. I don't care if there's water flooding the lawn and there's mud in the lawn. I don't care if thunder crashes in the sky. I'm going to say 
This is the day that the Lord has made. I will be joyful and exceedingly glad in it. Amen. Because guess what? God woke me up in the morning. And if I go to my bed sad, joy cometh in the morning. No matter what, I will pray. Because guess what? I can wake up and God is right there next, next to me. I woke up out of my bed singing in the Holy Spirit. I couldn't even wake up first. In my dreams, I was singing, clapping, dancing, singing, clapping, dancing. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I wasn't awake yet. In my sleep, the Holy Spirit filled the room. You know why? Because he is so awesome. He is awesome. He is so awesome. And daddy, I forgot um, how to pronounce your last name. Sorry. Um, could you put that in the chat again? I still um, said every day is a gift from God. And it is so true. If you go down to uh, Queen to, to the nearest hospital to you, Aski, Daddy Aski said every day is a gift from God. If you go down to the nearest hospital to you, whether it be Queen Elizabeth Memorial, whichever hospital, there's gonna be that a morgue taken in a body every night at least or more your nearest emergency department or a and e accident and emergency whichever one every night somebody's going to come in there and not walk back out in the middle of the night i wasn't one of them the people in here wasn't one of them bless it be the name of the Lord. Bless it. Be the name of the Lord. Let's be grateful that we are kept through the night. Let's be grateful that we are safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Let's be thankful that we are an educated people. What if God had given those animals dominion over us? In the book, in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. We would have been eaten alive, right? But no, God gave us dominion over the animals. Adam could have run faster than all the lions, than all the dogs, than all the cheetahs. Now, you know a cheetah can run 70 miles per hour. But instead, he gave, and my, my battery on my laptop is running low, but he gave us the ability to run faster than all of that. Now, let's finish. Don't worry, I, I, I'm fixing it. Now, the writer of Ecclesiastes saw God at every turn in the enjoyment of material things. The power to eat the fruits of our labors and even the strength to receive and rejoice in them as is from him from beginning to end. Uh, all of life is continuous gift giving by God. We deserve nothing. He owes us nothing. Yet, he gives us everything. If we remember this, we will not feel selfish or guilty. Whatever material blessings we have are all a gift from God. Amen. Now, tell me, that was a powerful message from God. That had to have been a powerful, powerful message from God. 
Amen. Now, trust me, we as Christians must recognize, and I'm sorry for the black screen, my laptop battery had died and therefore can't run the camera. Now, we as Christians must realize that no matter how smart we are, no matter how good we are, no matter how anything we are, God is better. God always bless someone else more than we do, and God himself is always better. So we should always stop thinking that there's someone that is definitely, that, that we are better than somebody. Because we can call somebody stupid in one field, but if we call them stupid in general, they could come back at us and say, we're stupid in one of their fields. Amen? And Wooly Will says, God is life. God is so many things. God is life. God is love. God is peace. God is protection. God is prosperity. God is everything. And Eve herself is all the mother of all living, but guess what? She still sinned and fall short of the glory of God, unlike God himself. All have sinned but one, and that is God. If you go to the book of Romans, you'll hear Romans say, all have sinned, but the but all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned, but fallen short of the glory of God. Now, who in here thinks they're perfect? Want everybody to put, not me. Now. One thing we can ensure is God will forgive us for our sins. God will forgive us. Even if we commit the same sin a million times, he will forgive us a million times. You know why? Because if we meaningfully repent to him, he is going to forgive us. But a lot of people get the difference of repenting for the same thing over and over again and meaningfully and unmeaningfully repent confused. See, if you go to God and you repent for a sin and you don't mean it, he will not accept it. But if you go to God and you meaningfully repent for a sin, mean your repentance. That's the only way you can enjoy his forgiveness. So, yeah, he is a forgiving God. Okay, see you later, um, Daddy Askey. So, we have reached the end of this lesson. And this was a very successful live lesson. So we're going to have open office once again, and then what? Who has a quarter of a million subscribers? Willie Will, you have a quarter of a million subscribers? Willie 